Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my ride or die tag. Uh, Jaclyn Hill actually created the ride or die makeup tag, and basically it is where you go through your entire collection and you just name the products that are your absolute favorites in each category. Jaclyn started the ride or die tag in I believe 2016, and when I saw hers I immediately knew that I really wanted to make my own. However, back then I didn't actually have my favorite products in every single category. And now that my makeup collection has grown, now that I've actually taught myself how to do better makeup, I can definitively say that these are my favorite, favorite products that I could not live without. So I've been really excited to film this one. I really hope you guys enjoy it. And without further ado, let's get into my ride or die tag. So first category is primer. And my ride or die primer is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. As you can see, I actually have the little mini one. And that is because the big one is way way overpriced. This one is $19 and then the big one is like $55. So that's a little expensive. That's a little on the expensive side especially for a primer but it is such such an amazing primer. Because of the cost I do not use this every single day. That would be a little exorbitant. However I just like to use this whenever I want my makeup to just look so so good. So this is not greasy at all on the skin. It just feels really silky. It smooths out the skin and like the name would imply it provides a really nice veil of just beautifulness on the skin. I, I, I can't even describe it that well because it's just such an amazing primer. Another reason I love this is that it's super versatile so it works under pretty much all the foundations I like to use. I actually like to use this under my favorite foundation which is from the same brand which I'm going to get into right now. So picking out my favorite foundation was actually a pretty hard choice actually because I love a lot of the foundations I have in my collection. Um, my other favorites are the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation, and I really like the Kevin and Kwan Etherealist Foundation. However, this one was my favorite by a mile, and it is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. You know that I love this product when I have two of them. <laughs> so the first shade I got was called Shell, and then my actual shade is Bisque, and I got both of them. I still use this one from time to time just because I want to use it up, and it's still a really good shade, but this one is more true to my actual skin tone. These are actually a medium to full coverage stick foundation, and I don't typically like stick foundations, but this one is different, because while it does build up to a really full coverage, it doesn't look cakey on the skin. And then one of my favorite parts of a stick foundation is you don't have to worry about your sponge soaking up a lot of the product, so you're not like wasting a ton, because it's not like a liquidy foundation. So I like to buff this out with a beauty blender sponge, but um, a lot of people really like the brush, the Vanish stick foundation brush that you can buy from Hourglass. To me, that's a little expensive for a brush, so I do prefer it using a sponge, and I like the foundation cover it gives. Again, like the primer, I think this is pretty versatile. You can actually use it on a lot of different skin types. So I have combination skin, and it works on both the dry parts and the oily parts of my face. And then another thing I love about this is that it has a really large shade range. So it's very inclusive. Um, whether you're super, super fair or you are very, very dark, you could probably find a shade that would work for you. I love that they included a really large shade range in their product, and then this is just such, such an amazing foundation. You don't have to worry about it caking up on your face throughout the day, like separating or anything, because it just stays flawless, and it's really, really worth the money. So I would definitely recommend these stick foundations. These are my ride or die. And next up is concealers, and I'm pretty sure I have the same favorite concealer as pretty much every other beauty YouTuber on YouTube. And it is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealers, and again, you know that I love the product when I have two different shades of it. So I have the shade Light and Light Sand, and Light Sand is a little bit more true to my skin tone because I do have yellow undertones, but Light is neutral and it works just as well. These are super, super full coverage, but they don't feel heavy and they don't look heavy on the skin. They don't cake up at all, and they're really, really crease-proof under the eyes. Um, no concealer is going to be fully, fully creaseless, but this one is the closest that it comes to being creaseless. I really love the applicator. It's a huge, huge doe foot applicator, so you get a lot of product on here, and I only need one swipe to cover my entire face for a day. I use this under my eyes, on my forehead, down my nose, on my cheeks, because I do have a little bit of rosacea on my cheeks, and then I might use this two-spot conceal if I have any breakouts. Right now, I'm getting stress breakouts because the semester just started, and it's all crazy, so I've been using this to spot conceal, and it really works. I also love using this to cut out a cut crease for the eye look. So if I'm doing an eye look where I need a cut crease, I will use the light one. Just get a really nice cut crease base and it just looks amazing. This is the fullest coverage concealer I could find that also blends out really well and just stays put on the eyes. It doesn't move around throughout the day, it doesn't like cake up or separate in one place. And another thing is that this barely needs setting, so you could probably go with like forgetting to set this and you'd probably be fine. I still set it because I like having a nice insurance of powder on my face, but you could go without setting these. So these are absolutely amazing, amazing concealers, and I would definitely recommend these, obviously, because I have two. 
And another thing, these are $25, so kind of a mid price for a concealer. However, you get so, so much product in here. If you want to see exactly how much product you're getting in here, watch the um, Beauty News uh, Makeup Breakup of the Tarte Shape Tape. You get so, so much in here. So yeah, definitely would recommend these. Great value and just an amazing concealer. So my next category is a beauty sponge, and my ride or die beauty sponge is the tried and true Real Techniques Orange Sponge. I've tried out the high end, I've tried Beauty Blender, and I've tried the Fenty Rihanna one, I've tried the Cake and Bake by Veramona, but this one is the one I keep coming back to and it is the cheapest one that I own. So this is $7 and it's such an amazing, amazing value. In my opinion, this is even better than the Beauty Blender because I really like the beveled edge here. It makes it really easy to blend out your foundation like this, get close up under the eyes, such an amazing sponge. It's affordable AF, but also really easy to clean out. I just like to use a light facial cleanser on it, just rub it into the spots where my makeup is, and then squeeze it out a couple times, just wring it out a little bit. Be gentle with it, of course, because you don't want to tear it. And it comes out looking new and orange like this every single time. I cleaned this one yesterday. Like I said, the beveled edge makes it really easy to blend out your foundation, get close up under your eyes for concealer, and also cut out a nice contour if you want to, if you like cutting out your contour with powder. Overall, you really can't go wrong with this. It's only $7. I can't really fathom paying more than $20 for a sponge, so that's why I don't like buying the Beauty Blender anymore, and that's why I just prefer this one so much. It's really an amazing deal. And I do like the big one too, the body real technique sponge it's like a super huge one that you can use if you're really in a hurry to blend out your foundation and you just want to go pat 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 and it's all blended out so now on to my red or dye powder and this one is something that get i get a little bit mad about because it is from nars this was my favorite powder for like months and months it is the nars soft velvet powder and i really do love this powder that's why i'm mentioning it in this video because it was my red or dye powder but i have to go on a rant right now about nars because i don't understand how a company can say that they're for cruelty-free practices, they're against animal testing, they're, they stand for animal rights, and then proceed to sell in China and throw away their morals just to test on animals, just to be, just for money, you know? They just want money, and they're willing to sacrifice their morals for that. So, obviously, I'm not purchasing from NARS anymore because they're no longer cruelty-free. I'm really, really disappointed in them. I just, I honestly can't stand them. I will continue to use this up until it's gone because this was my favorite powder for a while and I don't have a replacement powder to use instead of this one because I just love this one so much. So I think I'm going to have to switch to the Laura Mercier one that I haven't actually tried yet. I know a lot of people really love that powder. So I think I'm going to switch to the Laura Mercier after this one, but this was my favorite powder for a long time. It does really give you a velvet finish on your skin. I just, I'm so unbelievably angry at NARS. I'm just really upset about it. So yeah, I really need to find a good alternative that's not from a company that tests on animals and throws away their morals. Um, so if you have a good dupe for this one, please let me know. If not, I'm just going to start using the Laura Mercier powder. But yeah, really, really mad about this. So after I powder my face, I like to contour. So the next category is contouring. And it definitely has to go hands down to my Profusion Contour Kits. And I have two. You can find these in the TJ Maxx makeup section. I think they're only like 3 to $5, but you can find it on Profusion's website, and it's only $7. So either way, this is under $10, and it's just such an amazing contouring palette. This is the first one that I bought. I bought a replacement one for when I use up this, because I'm about to hit pan on this contour shade here. Cool Tone Brown is just the perfect contour shade. I use it every single day for carving out a nice cheekbone. And then... This warmer matte brown is a really nice matte bronzer. I like matte bronzers. I don't like to use um, shimmery bronzers at all. So if I want to bronze my face up with a darker shade, I'll go for this one. Super dark brown shade here. I use it very sparingly. I use it sometimes to do my nose contour if I mix it with this one and do like a nice dark nose contour. Otherwise, I might use this as a really dark brown eyeshadow. It's too dark for me, but it would be really beautiful as a contour on someone who has darker skin tone. I have a shimmery highlighter up here. It's the only shimmer shade in the palette. I actually like to use this highlighter on my mom because it, it doesn't emphasize any texture you might have on your skin. It's good for like more mature skin. It's a nice gentle highlight. It's not like super glittery or blending or anything like that. It also comes with this banana shade here. I like to use this for setting my under eyes sometimes. And then the only shade I don't really reach for is this like kind of peachier, um, pinkish toned beige shade. I don't use that one at all. But again, I can justify that because this is such an amazing price. Um, I seriously can't believe that this is only $7 or in my case it was only $3 because it's such an amazing contour palette. In my opinion, this rivals the Kat Von D one, and it's better than the Anastasia Contour Kit. So that's saying a lot. This is just, they're really soft powders, they're super blendable, and they just look so good. They're really, really pigmented as well. But you can blend them out to be a really nice soft contour, or you can just do it like a BAM contour. You know, BAM. BAM! BAM! So yeah, a lot of the stuff I pick up in the TJ Maxx makeup section doesn't really pan out for me, but this one is just an essential to me.
The next two categories are bronzer and blush, and these are actually together in a little duo from e.l.f. Cosmetics. So this is the e.l.f. Blush and Contour Duo in Fiji, this, so it's both matte shades. And then this blush, I've talked about this before many times on my channel, but I love this duo. The blush is just a really gorgeous, like, pinky toned, peachy kind of blush. This looks so, so beautiful. It's a really versatile blush shade and just, it's pigmented, but it's not too pigmented. You don't want a super pigmented blush because then it's just going to be like a huge, like, dot of pink on your cheek and you don't want to look like a tin soldier. So it's the perfect amount of pigmentation, blends really nicely into the skin and just looks like a nice, soft, peachy flush. So this is really, really gorgeous. And the contour shade, it's a little warm to use as a contour. It does compare to the Benefit Hula Light. So if you're wanting a cheap and cruelty-free dupe for that, definitely go for this one. I'm not a huge bronzer person, so I don't really use bronzer on the regular. Girl, look how orange you look, girl. I like to use this just to warm up my face a little bit. I like to use it on the outer perimeter of my face. Just a really nice, warm bronzer shade. So, and again, they're pretty, like, light in pigmentation, so it's really hard to go overboard with this one, but they're buildable, and they just look really, really nice on the skin. So, yeah, favorite blush and favorite bronzer in one. All right, so my next category is eyebrows, and my favorite eyebrow product of all time is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I have tried out so many different eyebrow powders, so many different eyebrow pomades. I've tried out a bunch of different eyebrow pencils, but I still keep coming back to this one. The formula is amazing. It doesn't feel, like, super waxy, but it's really, really pigmented as well. And the reason I love this so much is that this spoolie blends the um, actual Brow Wiz product through the eyebrows so you get that really nice Anastasia like gradient brow effect. So if you want like really nice precise perfect brows definitely go for this brow pencil. I also like it because it's a really really small precise tip so you can get in really really precise like hair strokes in the front and just like really really nice precise work. This is great for beginners, this is great for anyone who's experienced with their brows. All around this is just the best brow product on the market. And yeah, I absolutely love this. So Anastasia Brow Wiz is my red or die. So after I've done my brows, I like to start my eyes and then I go in with the eyeshadow primer first. So my favorite eyeshadow primer is the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Fix. The actual product itself, the reason I love this so much is that 100% um, of the proceeds from this purchase go to the Ultraviolet Edge, which is Urban Decay's initiative for helping out um, women. Anyways, the product itself is really, really good too. This was kind of the original eyelid primer, so I think Urban Decay kind of started a trend with this one. But the reason I like this so much is that if you have any kind of discoloration on your eyelids, if you have like veins or any redness, this will just cancel it all out, just like a nice beige um, base for your eyeshadow. This will also keep your shadows from creasing throughout the day and like fading away in color. So it's really user friendly, it's very easy to apply. You have this really nice kind of doe foot applicator, you just apply it to your lids and then you can blend it out with your finger or if you want to you can use a sponge. Besides this being an absolutely amazing primer, it goes to a great cause and yeah, absolutely love this and absolutely love Urban Decay. Okay, so you guys know my love for eyeshadow palettes. It's pretty much comprising of pretty much every video on my channel. I just, I love eyeshadow palettes. My favorite, favorite item of makeup, hands down. I thought this category was going to be really hard to pick out because I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and it was going to be really hard to pick my favorite. But surprisingly, this was actually a really easy category to select one because there's just one that stands out above all the others and just I love using. So it is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. So if you watch beauty videos, I'm sure you've seen this palette before. This has been all the rage on YouTube and for good reason. Um, you have a super, super versatile color array. Like if I was stuck on a desert island and I had one palette, I could do pretty much every look with this ever. Not that I'm ever going to be stuck on a desert island, but you know what I mean. I'm wearing this on my eyes today. It's just such an amazing, amazing palette. Not only is it an amazing color array, you have amazing quality for such an amazing price. I, why do I keep saying amazing? Because it is. It's a really amazing palette. You get 35 colors for $38, so it's like a little bit over a dollar per pan, and these are huge, huge pans of eyeshadow. So quality, of course, is a step up from all the other Morphe palettes that I own. I've tried out pretty much all the Morphe palettes, and this one is my favorite by far. Really blendable, very pigmented, and of course, all the colors I could ever need. So yeah, I actually have to stop myself from using this palette every day, because if I had to reach for one palette and just do my makeup with that palette, I would reach with this every single day, but instead I have to tell myself I need to use my other palettes in my collection, because this this one is just such a beautiful palette and I love it so much. I know that it's kind of hard to get your hands on this. I know that they're doing restocks as much as they can and I, I'm pretty sure this is limited edition so it's not going to be here forever. I'm actually considering buying myself another one for when I run out of this one so it's like not gone forever in my life. I just literally love this palette so much. It's changed the way I do my makeup. 
This is by far the best thing that Morphe has ever produced and the best thing that Jacqueline has ever done in her makeup career is come out with this beautiful, beautiful palette. You can really tell that she put a lot of work into it. The colors each have their unique story. You can tell how much work she put into formulating the colors themselves. Just such an amazing palette. I absolutely love this. Alright, so on to my favorite liner of all time and this has to be the NYX Liquid Black Liner. So it's a super fine brush tip, so this allows you to make really precise wings. Admittedly, when I started doing makeup, I was not the best at doing winged liner, and I'm still not perfect at doing my winged liner. However, this has really made it a lot easier. I have those days where this one eye here just leaks tears constantly throughout the day. Um, I thought it was like dry eyes or something. Turns out, depression. So yeah, it's not marketed as waterproof at all, but it does hold up to the tears. The other reason I love it is that it's super, super cheap. This is only $6, and I think NYX is one of the best drugstore brands you can find. However, they are getting a lot more expensive, like the new eyeshadow palettes they put out. $30? That's a little expensive for NYX. Anyways, honestly, there's no point in getting a um, high-end liquid liner when you could find better, if not the same quality, at the drugstore. In my opinion, this is better than the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, um, better than all the Tarte liners I've tried out. This is just the best liner I could find, and I really, really love this. I'm actually not a huge mascara person because I pretty much wear false lashes most of the time, but um, I do like having a good mascara to meld my false lashes with my real ones and just look really, really beautiful. And if I do want to wear no false lashes, this one just works regardless. This is my favorite. It is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Um, it's a really, really good formula. It doesn't feel like clumpy or um, too thick on the lashes, but it's not a watery formula either. I think it's just the perfect in-between mixture of like watery and thick. It doesn't make your lashes look plumpy and spidery. It gives you nice separation and volume, but also a good amount of length. So the other thing I've noticed is that it has a really good brush and it doesn't smell nasty. Like a lot of other mascaras I own, they work well, but they smell like chemicals. And this one doesn't have that chemically smell, maybe because Tarte is a more natural brand in general. As you can see, I have the travel size here. I personally don't like having full-size mascaras because it's just harder to go through them. Mascaras actually expire pretty fast. And normally, I don't really pay attention to expiration dates on makeup. For example, like eyeshadow palettes or foundation, I don't really care. But mascara, you're putting that really, really close to your eyeballs. Same with eyeliner. So I don't really like using mascara past its expiration date. This lasts for like six months, and I could definitely go through a tube of this in six months. So, favorite lashes of all time. I can't actually show you them in the box because I'm wearing them on my eyes right now. But these are my favorite lashes of all time. They are the Kim Tai Lionhearted Lashes from Cake Face Beauty. So, can we just take a minute to acknowledge the beautiful packaging? Kim put this together. It is a really nice sleek black box with this gorgeous like white bow. And then the outside, you have this beautiful gold glitter rim. Inside is also gold glitter. Really pretty. And then you have Cake Face Beauty here on the rim, and then on the back you have the Cruelty Free Bunny. Because these lashes were made with no animals harmed at all. They are faux silk, so they're not real silk, but they're really like nice fluffy, silky fibers. Just super, super long and voluminous. You get a lot of length, a lot of volume. Fur has no place on any body other than the animal itself. So, yeah. Fur is absolutely disgusting in my opinion, and I'm so glad that Kim came out with these beautiful faux silk lashes that are cruelty free, no animals harmed. And while these are the most dramatic lashes I own, they're very like drag style lashes, they can still look really like soft and beautiful. I've seen Nikki tutorials wear these and they just look so beautiful and soft on her eyes. Definitely the most luxurious pair of lashes I own. I like keeping this stored out on my vanity so you can see the beautiful packaging. But Kim did an amazing job with these. I know that they're very hard to get your hands on. They sell out all the time. Probably going to try and pick up more pairs of these because they are my favorite lashes of all time. So the Kim Tai lashes are very thick and voluminous and very big, so you do need a nice strong lash glue to hold them down. And I do have a favorite lash glue, and these are the House of Lashes Lash Adhesives. These are available at Sephora. They're $8, I think, for a little bottle like this one. The, the formula is very thin, and it comes with a nice precise brush. I like that. So you can just brush this onto the band of your... It gets tacky fairly quickly, so you don't have to sit there waiting for your lash glue to get like tacky enough that you can apply them to your eyes. The reason I love this so much is that it holds your lashes on all day long. Like, seriously, the lashes are not going to budge. They're not going anywhere. I wore lashes every day in Disneyland, and I was on roller coasters, on the front of the roller coaster with the air like pelting me in the face, and my lashes still didn't fall off. So these are amazing eyelash glue. I've heard other YouTubers say that it's hard to remove your lashes when you're wearing these. I actually don't find that to be the case. I think it's actually pretty easy to remove your lashes. I just gently like pull lashes off really, really slowly, being gentle to your eyes, of course, and it just comes off. So yeah, really good lash glue, definitely my ride or die. So now onto my favorite lipstick formulas. I've actually divided lipstick and liquid lipstick into two separate categories. So these are my favorite regular lipstick and they are the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. They are super, super creamy and pigmented, and the reason I love these so much is that it's a really nice, precise, small tip of the lipstick. 
So that's my, my main problem with lipsticks in the bullet form is that they're too big to get nice precise edges, but this one you can get those precise edges. See, I'm kind of over the trend of like super matte lips. I do want a more comfortable finish and these provide just that. They are very comfortable on the lips and stay looking amazing. They're pretty moisturizing and nourishing. I do get allergic reactions to certain lip products. So when my lips do have an allergic reaction, they're very dry and chapped. So when that happens, I still wanna be using lip products so that my lips don't look like nasty. So I use these ones and they're very moisturizing and nourishing on the lips. Don't dry your lips out at all. Um, just really, really amazing lipstick formula and they're only $5. So my two favorite shades I have are Taurus and Only You. Taurus is a matte and Only You is a cream. I definitely wanna pick up more of these um, lippy sticks. So yeah, favorite lipstick formula, hands down. And my favorite liquid lipstick formula has to be the Ofra Liquid Lips. So pretty much everything you've heard about these on YouTube is true. They're pretty much the best liquid lipstick formula that I've ever found. They're non-drying and comfortable on the lips. I'm actually wearing this shade right now. This is the Hypno shade from Manny MUA. But yeah, they look amazing. They have a nice, beautiful finish. They don't dry up to like a super dry matte. So they're not like very matte. Um, not really transfer proof either. You get like a light transfer on there. But still super pigmented, very comfortable, and just they look amazing. So you might be thinking, hey, you forgot the most important part, highlighter. But highlighter I actually like to save for after I do my lips to the very end of my routine. And my favorite highlighter, Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. Anastasia Beverly Hills is pretty famous for their glow kits, their highlighting kits. And this, in my opinion, is the best one that they ever made. Nicole did a really amazing job of picking out these colors. You have two, like, peachy tone pink colors, two, like, kind of gold, yeah, two kind of, like, gold champagne colors. You have, like, a really, like, light blush pink highlighter, and then this really unique white, kind of bluish white shade. You look really glittery in the pan, but I don't find that the glitter is too much to handle on the face. Um... If you have like a ton of texture, maybe this is not the best product for you, but if you have like anywhere to like light texture or like pretty smooth skin, this is amazing. It's a really, really blinding, beautiful highlighter. These highlights are really blinding. I love these on my undertones, like the gold tone shades here and the pink tones. They just look really nice on warm toned faces. So just whenever I want to really glow, I will go for this. I'm actually wearing it on my face today. Um, I don't know if it's translating into the viewfinder like it is on my face, but really, really beautiful highlighters and so worth it. So that concludes my ride or die tag. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been super excited to film this one and I'm really happy that I finally did. Please feel free to let me know in the comments below what your ride or die products are. I really want to try out your guys' favorites and see what I like too. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Um, let me know what your favorites are in the comments and if you made it to the very end of this video, I love you. Alright, so my next two categories are bronzer and <laughs> bronzer and blush. My god. Okay, so you guys know my love for eyelashes. <laughs> what?